This episode of Animal Watch is sponsored by Buy Benji Dog Biltong, the high value air cured dog treat. Hello, welcome to Animal Watch, and today we're meeting the Burbuls of South Africa. <laughs> Watch has travelled out to one of the most beautiful countries on earth, South Africa, with its mountainous coastline and dramatic beaches. Since I've travelled all the way out here, I really wanted to meet some of the dogs associated with South Africa. Dogs which have been developed over the last few hundred years to aid the settlers, protect them and even defend against lions and large game. One of the most famous and most powerful in the world is the huge South African Boer Bell. Boer meaning farmer in Afrikaans and Boel for dog. These dogs can weigh up to a staggering 90 kilograms. A courageous guard dog, a loving companion and a dog who would put his life ahead of his family when defending them from wildlife such as lions. Now, sadly, lions, elephants, rhinos and other large game has been hunted to local extinction on the Cape, so this role is now obsolete. However, this dog's more modern day roles include keeping thieves and rustlers away from farmsteads, as well as being a loving and trusted companion. Today, I'm meeting Jacques and Wilna Augustine of Augustine Burabels in Malmesbury, just outside of Cape Town. They care for a large pack of working type Burabels and I can't wait to meet their beautiful dogs. Hello, Jack. Hi, Annika. Hi. Good to see you. <gasps> Lovely to see you. Pleased to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, oh, meet Wilson. Wilson, oh. look at you. Oh, he's beautiful. Wilson, Wilson is a puppy only. He's six months. He turned six months last week. Puppy, he's huge he's for a puppy. Quite huge. I've got to come in and meet him. <laughs> Wilson, <laughs> look at you. What a oh. chunky monkey! Yeah, you got your lick. I got a lick, I'm so lucky. <laughs> oh, he's a big unit, isn't he? Even he for a six month old puppy. Only isn't six he? months old. Yeah, he must be a. Um, his weight size is around about 43, 44 kilograms. 43! The they are very friendly. Yes. And um, they are also very protective over, over their family members. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's, he's only a puppy still, so he all he thinks about is another mate. You know, he, he, he um, he's not thinking about protecting anybody yes, at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So when does the protective streak kick in? I'd say from a year about. From about yeah. a year. Well, meeting Wilson was absolutely fantastic, but I'd love to meet some of your adults okay. now so I could get a gauge of their yeah. huge size, which of course they're okay. famous for. Okay, I'll bring a, a fawn female, Mandy, yes. and a Kavango, male right. duck. Ah, <laughs> and they opened the gate! Hey. Oh, look at him waiting for you there. He's like oh. he's waiting <laughs> for his dad. Hey. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, he's big, man. Look at this! Look at this! These dogs are so friendly. They, they like to use their mouths a lot, but the mouths are very soft. They've really got gorgeous mouths. Oh, they're so big. So big, he's gorgeous, though. <laughs> hey, Mandy! Mandy, you can make you are nuts! Well, I'm here today in South Africa with Jacques of Augustine 
Burbuls. Is that how you pronounce it? That's that's more or less the right. Burbuls, which are these incredible mastiffs here, originating in South Africa. They came to Africa with Van Riebeek when he came to build a settlement in 1652. Van Riebeek came with a, with a dog from Holland, and the farmers. The, the 1820 settlers and uh, also the local people had dogs, dogs that migrated from North Africa down with indigenous people. All those bloodlines came together in what was then selected in 1982 yes. to become the Burbu breed. And Burbu means farmer's dog. Farmer's dog, Okay, yes. so that is literally what they are. Yes. Going back 300 years, we had lots of different wildlife, didn't we? There was lions and there was elephants. A big part of this dog's job originally was to help protect against the, the wild animals the wild in animals. the areas. Yeah, uh, I also think that was one of the main objectives of Van Riebeek when he had to come here. And he knew beforehand that it is a wild and open country where the, he will have no other protection than maybe a dog. Yes. Uh, so he was selecting the biggest dog he could find in Holland. Yes. And, yeah. and, and brought that here. They've got this reputation, haven't they, for, for being able to, to take down wild animals. In the old days, oh, yes. would they have kept them as a, a pack? They had packs of dogs uh, of different sizes and colors and different breeds. That packs of dogs protected them and killed lions. Old tales of indigenous dogs or big dogs uh, killing elephant. Wow. So if they operate in a pack, yes. then of course they're very yeah. dangerous. These dogs have real muscle mass, don't yes. they? So you, I can see that strength. When, when they want to push, they walk. Yeah, you fall yeah. backwards, you can really feel that strength. So as a dog that is a protector for you and your land and, and everything, they, they have that real power behind Absolutely them to, to yeah, actually... Yeah, if they get aggressive and they would run towards you and jump up against you, they just flatten you with a gun. Yeah. It's not a, a big thing for them yeah. to get rid of a person. But on the other hand, they are so friendly. They are so friendly. They are so friendly. I, I mean, they will protect me with their lives yes. if I am in danger. Yes, of course, but um, they understand that I'm a friendly person. And, yeah, no, I mean, and they, if you come in peace. I come then, in peace. Then, then you'll, you'll <laughs> get peace. I come in peace. peace or you'll end up in pieces, yeah. basically. I've been literally salivated to death dripping in saliva. They've got these big squidgy mouths and you know yes. of course that you can see what they could do if they wanted to to be guarding and to be protecting because the, the, the mouths are, are formidable. Yeah. They're wide and they're huge um, but at the same time they're adorable dogs. They're so loving. And they are very much protective over, over children and they just love children. I think people forget that a lot of these these dogs that are guard dogs and protect dogs and, and herding dogs, all of that sort of type of dog, have been brought up for so many hundred years with the family and yes. with children is, is yes. why they're so kind and they're yeah. so sweet. Yeah. As guard dogs, if you see them standing on the other side of the fence yes. and you are here with evil things in mind. Then, then, <laughs> evil things in mind. <laughs> yeah, then you just won't go in. Yes. You yes. just won't go into the gate. No, yeah. you would think twice, wouldn't you? What we find most of the time is that the moment <laughs> their owners let you in, yes. then it's fine with yeah. them. Because they then they friends. know you're here yeah. because I want you here, because mm -hmm. I've given permission for you to yeah. be here. So for instance, I was unfriendly, so I've, I've just tricked you and these dogs think I'm nice. Yeah. And then suddenly I was to like jump up and pull a gun on you. What would you say to the dogs to get them to protect you? I will just tell them to, to, to go for you. They all know if I say, uh, in, in Afrikaans, if you say fatum, yeah. just take him. Yeah. Uh, and if I say that too much, they might just jump on the, on the camera on the cameraman. <laughs> yeah, we won't so say that I'm, too I'm much. not going to say that again. <laughs> Your male here is 80 kilograms. Yes. The average female is how much, roughly? I'd say around about 60. About 60. Yeah. And height wise? Females should not be smaller than 55 centimeters, and the males should not be smaller than 60. But what is the life expectancy of a dog like this? About 12 years. That's a good age yeah. because you often find with a lot of 
large breeds these days. Yeah. Um, they're not so healthy. There's a lot of the massive sort of mastiff breeds in the United Kingdom yeah. um, that don't get past age six because they get bloat and they get problems. Yeah. These dogs look very healthy. They're not inside dogs all the time. Yeah. They, they, they want to be outside. There's got to be a, a place where they can move around, and where they can play and where they can feel the grass and feel the... Mm -hmm. And obviously the companies are yeah. very sociable, and, so yeah, they need to be more than one. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to keep only one. How do they react when they're in a strange environment? We take our dogs to the village to sort of show them what's going on there. And then when they get there as young puppies, four months old, they f for the first time see cars driving up and down. They see people walking on the pavement. They will just stick with me. Mm -hmm. They will only react if somebody is unfriendly to, is you. Unfriendly yeah. to me. You've got to put some training into it. Yeah. If you keep them in a small kennel, you can be sure uh, aggressiveness will, yeah. will come out somewhere. Yeah. So the important thing also is to socialization. Get out early, meet lots of people, walk yeah. around. Do you get people to touch them, give them a, give them a little bit of a fuss? Yeah, from, from a small age, from a very young age. How do they get on with other dogs? Males, not so good. Purple males is very dominant. They'll get along with 20 females. Yeah, but, but not don't bring another male. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about uh, if the male is neutered? Would he get on better with better, other? Better, yeah. You will often find that one of the females, when the male is neutered, you will find that uh, one of the females or a female will become the alpha dog. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, they've been so, so, so affectionate today. And I've, I've had an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. And if you enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch, then please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom corner. And um, what's your website if people would like to go on and take a look at your wonderful dogs? My website is Augustine Boone. Augustinbubbles.com and I've enjoyed myself immensely today and make sure to tune in every single week where I'll be bringing you more episodes on dogs, wolves, wildlife, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now. The Burabelle has been one of my most fun dogs to film on Animal Watch and despite its fearsome reputation, in person was such a sweet, loving and devoted dog. These dogs are great with children and will protect you as they love you so much. I even said that I might have one in the future and that's a lot coming from me. So I do hope that the Burabelle has a strong future and continues to inspire people around the world to grow and nurture this breed. Thank you for the clothing which was sponsored by High Tech South Africa.